media mail gang it is katie with katie reads and welcome or welcome back to the channel if you're new here this is not my typical typical content but my name is katie i am a used book and ephemera seller and i sell mainly on platforms like ebay and etsy i sell on some other platforms too anyway i talk about that here on this channel now today i am doing an unboxing from my friend cody he is a amazon seller and sends me some different stuff that he doesn't have interest in and we kind of work out a deal together and um this is the biggest haul that i've gotten from him so far it is four boxes and i'm going to show this to you guys today if anyone has interest in anything that i show today please just let me know hi. brendel says hi hi <laughs> yeah we're gonna open the boxes all right so yeah so, Izzy is doing homework, otherwise I would have her come out and help as well. But homework needs to um, come first for her. Oh, wow. So we have some really cool stuff here. Um, so these are a ton of vintage books. So we've got Casper. Oh, they're record. Oh, they're not books. Okay, so these are like old records. Oh my god, this is awesome. The record would go inside of these. There are so many different fun things you could do with these. Making notebooks, like all different types of fun things. And then quite a few vintage books. Now what I do with a lot of these vintage books is um, I will take the pages out of them, the inside pages, and I will give them to like the craft community. Um, and then these library checkout cards, you guys already know what I do with these. Ah, okay. And then him and I had talked about these atlases. So I see myself using these mostly for bookmarks. Um, I have a ton of stamps that I still am using and I need world maps. I need a lot more. Um, especially because a lot of the stamps I have are other countries, so I need a lot more. So we have some huge atlases, and they're heavy. Yeah, they are heavy. So we've got some huge atlases for me to use. And another world atlas. Oh my god. So, if anyone has interest in any pages from atlases or needs any type of book page um, inventory let me know i do sell it um, i'll sell the book or i will sell just the pages i have a machine that's able to cut um, pretty much through anything and i'm able to just give the pages from the inside of the book as well if that's something that you need versus like having the whole book all right and next up is a ton of just ephemera and just really interesting things um from a sports related person i don't i don't know how else to say it i haven't gone through everything but essentially like this person has a ton of letters um there was a lot of back and forth between them and time magazine um some sports related like cards and um just a lot of different things related to this specific person um so i am going to go through it all and figure out what the heck i'm gonna do with it all um i think because it revolves around one specific person i think that there's going to be a lot of value there and i have some sports like connected friends that may have interest in some of this so really it's just going through it all and figuring out um you know what's gonna work oh wow these are like bills little bills that's kind of cool oh uh, yeah look at that that is really cool oh wow now we've got a bobblehead look at this oh my gosh oh the glasses won't stay on Look at that. That is so fun. I'm pretty sure all of this revolves around this guy. And it's just going to be really interesting to see what I can find out about this specific person. 
So if you have any interest or you have any questions about that, let me know. I'll be happy to share this information with you. I'm sorry I'm like really out of the camera a lot, but I'm trying to show a good angle of everything and it's kind of hard to do with my camera set up, so bear with me. And then this final box is all the uh, typical ephemera that I've gotten from him in the past. And I'll kind of show it to you guys here. Um, we have, what's up first? Oh, these. Oh, I'm so excited for these. Oh my God, I'm so excited for these. Okay, I have so many different ideas on what I want to do with these. These are old library markers that would do different sections throughout the library. And then these would be kind of part of the card catalog so you could find certain books. And there are so many different kinds in here to I think some different fiction categories. It may be mostly nonfiction. I guess we'll see. The arts, music. So maybe it is mostly nonfiction. Biography. That one looks really cool. I have so many different ideas on what I want to do with these. Um, and I don't want to spoil it. I'll show you guys as I decide to start doing different things with them. But yeah, I'm really, really excited for these. We have what I have been impatiently waiting for. Because my Etsy store, as you guys know, has recently ran out of library checkout cards and um, I need to keep those stocked as much as possible. So we have we have library checkout cards. So I'm getting these listed this weekend. Um, and getting them processed. There's some different work and different things I have to do to them to get them ready to be put up on Etsy. And then we have a ton of other miscellaneous um, ephemera. I don't have the camera up close to show like every little thing here, but we have bookmarks and um, just other miscellaneous things, receipts, photos, just typical things that you would find inside of a book. Another huge pile of, oops, library checkout cards. Then we have some really cool books here that are made out of denim and I thought that was really cool. I thought it actually has a pocket in the front. I thought it would be really cool to have um, for someone maybe in my crafting community. The inside is pretty basic with um, white and black and purple but I thought the actual denim on this was really interesting. So if you have any interest in denim, let me know. I will hook you up. and. <laughs> Thank you again, Cody, so much for all of this, but we're not finished. Yeah, we're not finished. Finally, we have this Abico, I think that's how you say it, Ibico? Ibomatic, this is a preset punch and binding system. And for those of you that know about the notebooks that I make, I took a break from the VHS ones just out of some copies. Just out of some copyright concern um, but I have plenty of other material to make different notebooks and I do plan to start doing that um, especially with my ephemera like I use a lot of this ephemera to make covers for the notebooks that I create um, so I have a lot of really cool ideas for that and I have a machine already you guys have probably seen it in some of my older videos where I punch it and bind it using that machine um, but this one is really cool as well. This one does a different variety of, um, it does the plastic binding. So I don't have to use wire binding. I can use some of like the plastic ones. This is an older machine, um, but it's, it's like new. It's pretty much brand new. I don't even know that it's been used. It's still in the box. Um, it still has a styrofoam around it. So, you know, I, it's pretty much brand new. So I'm going to try it out, see if it works. Um, and then if it works, this is going to probably be an alternative machine. I might make a couple different styles of notebooks because some people like different binding or variety or whatever. Um, and so we'll see how many pages and what type of binding material I need to use for this. 
and we'll start making some ulterior uh, alternative notebooks. And I do like the idea of having a backup machine as well. So that way if something happens with the machine I'm currently using, I've had that one for almost, two, almost three years. So um, if something happens to that machine, I don't have a backup. So now I have a backup in case something happens with that machine as well. So definitely going to be trying this out soon. I don't know when I'll get a break from my constant book pickups, which I'm not complaining about, uh, to get back into crafting, but I'm really excited to have this. So thank you so much, Cody, for just letting me know about everything that you have and kind of hooking me up with that. I really appreciate it. And guys, if this is stuff that you're into, talk to people you know, talk to other Amazon sellers, talk to other um, booksellers, or talk to someone that buys out storage units. You never know what you're gonna find in storage units. Um, so definitely talk to other resellers and let them know about different things you might be interested in taking off of their hands. Just talk to people, exchange value. I think that's the biggest thing is exchanging value with each other. Um, maybe not so much the price tag, but exchanging value. And I think that's really important within the reselling community because so many, so many of us have our different niches. And I think when we collaborate versus like competing, I think that takes us a lot farther in the community. So this is my unboxing video. I just feel like I need you guys to know that I know this is not my best video quality content, but I really wanted to do an unboxing video. I thought it was really fun, really unique, tons of different stuff. And that coach, I'm going to find out more information. I have a box and a half from one man that was a coach that was in Time Life magazine. We'll check it out. We will see what I can find out. I have a few people I'm going to talk to about it. I am I mean, you know me, I'm a go sports person, so I am not heavy into the sports community, but I have a few connections. I'm going to reach out to them, see what they think. Um, if anything, I think the value is there alone just because it's all his stuff. Maybe he wasn't super famous, but it was all his stuff. And I know the ephemera community really, really will appreciate that. Um, even if I can't, you know, pitch it to someone that's maybe in the sports scene. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was kind of just like a fun, not heavy into reselling type of video, just a cool unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I gotta go.